What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day, we've already talked about this a couple days ago, was the new color that's coming up for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, and it's a burgundy color, but we didn't actually see it in real life. These are real life photos of it, and oh my god, these are amazing, like wine oh amazing. I don't even drink wine, but this looks like, I said it before, it looks like a beautiful glass of wine. It's so pretty. This is a great looking color. Uh, I kind of wish this was out. This would have been a tough choice between this one and the regular uh, lilac purple that I chose. It's just an amazing color. Come on guys, do you like it or not? Let me know down below in the comments. Next up is about the HTC U12 plus a little leak or rumor coming from a leaker in the community. Rolling Quant? Did I say it right? <laughs> Here's, here is his tweet. It says HTC U12 plus will come in black red rose violet and translucent variant colors uh, comes with a six inch screen 64 gigabytes in euro land i assume that's europe single and dual sim mo models plans and it won't be cheap not a surprise that it won't be cheap at the same time will it sell will it not sell it probably won't sell i think the market is kind of defined whose phones they buy at the moment and it's really just you know, iPhone and the Samsung, and then everyone else is kind of like a smaller percentage uh, of the market. And I think HTC is definitely, definitely gonna continue to be the smaller part of that market. And our last story of the day came out yesterday, and I was gonna talk about it, because I was completely blown away by this, but I actually forgot, because there was so much news that came out about Android, and that is Google Assistant being able to make calls for you. Literally, Google Assistant, would make a phone call for you to make an appointment. Yes, that's my son, he's right there. Uh, it, it is amazing. This is, the technology on this is going to eventually, well, actually watch it first. So let's go back to this example. Let's say you wanna ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. What happens is the Google Assistant makes the call seamlessly in the background for you. So what you're gonna hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like. What service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. And you can just tell from that voice, it's very difficult to tell if that's a robot's voice or a human's voice. It's pretty damn perfect in this and then going back and forth with the real human Google Assistant you know being able to think and not have to you know like say be really specific that is crazy too this just leads into things like customer service uh, being run by robots that you can communicate with my son's crying so I'll wrap it up but that's just an amazing thing let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about that Google Assistant voice. Is that the future? Is it scary? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road. Peace.